good morning welcome sham stars in continuation with the previous topic today we are going to learn about translation which is very important process of protein synthesis in the cells children this slide shows central dogma that is a transfer of genetic information from dna to rna and from rna to protein so first step is known as transcription which we have already discussed in the previous video so today we are focusing on the translation that is transfer of genetic information from rna to protein synthesis translation is the process of polymerization of amino acids to form a polypeptides Amino acids are the raw material for the synthesis of proteins. In process of translation, the language of nucleotide sequence on mRNA is translated into the language of amino acid sequence, and this entire process occurs in the ribosomes, which are located in the cytoplasm, and these are the cell organelles. This slide shows the steps of translation. The different phases of translation are that is activation, initiation. elongation and termination so let's see all these four stages one by one this slide shows first step of translation that is activation activation of amino acids in the cytoplasm for activation of amino acids atp requires and enzyme amino acyl synthetase is required by the end of this process amino acid which is activated is called amino acyl is produced along with the amp and the phosphate group this slide shows the second phase of translation that is initiation initiation of polypeptide synthesis which occurs in ribosomes ribosomes are present in the cytoplasm ribosome consists of structural rnas and about 80 different proteins in its in active state it exists as two subunits that is a large unit and a small subunit when the small subunit encounters a an messenger rna messenger rna which brings the message from the dna genetic information the process of translation of the mrna to protein begins this slide shows the third phase of translation that is elongation There are two sites in a large subunit which is clearly visible B site and A site for subsequent amino acids to bind and thus be close to each other for the formation of peptide bonds the small subunit with the tRNA attaches to the large subunit in such a way that the initiation codon AUG comes to P site and mRNA also has some additional sequences that are not translated so this uh, slide shows the summary of elongation process which is the third phase of translation ribosomes elongate the polypeptide chain the amino acid sequence is determined by the order of codons in the specific mrna it is a cyclic process involving certain elongation factors and this can be divided into three steps binding of amino acyl tRNA peptide bond formation and translocation This slide shows the fourth phase of the translation that is termination termination of polypeptide synthesis occurs when a release factor binds to the stop codon as a result the polypeptide synthesis or elongation stops releasing the complete polypeptide from the ribosomes now these stop codons are the codons out of 64 codons we know 61 they code for the amino acids and three codons they do not code for amino acids those are known as stop codons so children this is all about the process of translation which has four steps that is activation initiation elongation and termination i hope you must have understood in the next video we will talk about the regulation of gene expressions thank you sham stars that's all for today you can drop your queries on the google classroom take care